Hi YouTube. Well, you're looking at Stellarium. This is another uh, star watching program. It's not Worldwide Telescope and Google Sky, which is blotting out a lot of stuff. This one don't, for some reason. Well, as far as I know, Eris is that thing that NASA also calls Nibiru but they are not letting us know about it so let's search Eris so you click on the search bar Eris like that and then you search let's see where it pops up right there so right there now this is the moon Capella Betelgeuse, Regal and Jupiter and Uranus is right up behind there I have to zoom in in order to make that one appear but if you see here this is east this is south and Aries is supposed to be right there so what does that tell me well my wife again she was scanning through pictures she's into paranormal stuff so she's used to looking at pictures and looking for stuff and she was through with my iPhone today, our iPhone, and then she suddenly stops at a picture and say, what is that? And we got three objects, we actually got four objects, we got one red, we got one blue, which looked like that blue cross which NASA has a picture of, and then it looks like we got a planetoid right uh, below the sun, and one to the right of the sun inst also and I have zoomed in on these pictures and I can clearly see that the chemtrail on that picture is going in front of this circle and I can assure you one thing it is not I repeat it is not a lens flare so let's take this picture up now so remember it was in the east and the south so it is south southeast it is right now at 750 p.m. Indiana time. I'm gonna shut the program down for two seconds and that's my pretty wife and let's go in and open that picture. Uh, you will of course see the original picture but right now I'm just gonna film it just for the fun of it. So what are we opening it with? Uh, it doesn't even... no oh yeah okay my bad sorry about that we go in here and we take picture number one and as you see here it already stands out that blue thing but let's zoom in on the first one this one right here in this vicinity if you can't see it on the screen it is right there right there so let's zoom in on it this thing is behind the chemtrails not in front behind picture will show that and then we got this one up here right there so what on earth is that in that color we don't know but one is most striking of all these it's the one up in the corner right up here up to the left so let's zoom in on that can you see what that is that is right there so question is what is it it is not a lens flare because I can tell you where the lens flare is going we are driving I'm driving my wife to work and you can see this is a horrible chemtrail morning usually here in Indiana in the morning and the evening they are chemtrailing heavy and every up and every chemtrail is going towards east and west but the lens flare on this photo is going in that direction as you see here and it doesn't intersect with any of the objects this object here is not in a straight line to it this one is not in a straight line either and that one up here in the corner neither so what are we looking at? Well, Eris, Nibiru, 
sackcloth, nemesis, a pollen, whatever you choose to call it, is right now next to the sun, in between earth and the sun. And according to what I have been doing a research of, and a lot, and actually since 2008, that is that Nibiru is not going to come here in 2012. It's going to be here in October 2011. So all that time and all that spin about 2012, well, it seems like we don't got that time we need to prepare. We are being lied to. It is not true. It's going to come faster than we apparently think it is. So where is the best place to be, is many people asking me. Well, I have been advised to be above the 45th latitude if you are in North America. If you are in Europe, you need to leave now. You need to do prepare and get to the Alps or another place outside Europe in high ground too. Because Europe is going to be flooded. India is going to go too, completely gone. Ireland is going to be gone. The east coast of America is going to be gone. The west coast of America is going to be gone. Everything is going to be basically gone all coastlines. So if you are my coastlines you need to search inland and I would recommend 300 miles inland because the tsunamis they're gonna be high as houses or even higher than that when we flip the pole. And according again to my research on it this pole shift is not gonna be over several days we're talking hours. And when we're talking hours, you can imagine what will happen. That means the ground under you will move and you will not follow. You need to buckle up. And another thing is the winds. The winds is going to blow everything away and then the wave comes. So we are in serious, serious conditions. So what do you make of this? This is absolutely astounding. Look at that. This one is behind the chemtrail. This one reminds of that picture of the blue cross that NASA have a picture of, which they say they have no idea what is. Well, that blue cross, according to the so-called channelers and the so-called what are the contactees, this is the Christ cross on its arrival. And if this is the Christ cross and it's coming now, then it gotta be the rapture coming. It seems logical to me that he will take his people home before he will punish the rest. So question is, am I on that list or not? But here you got it. Here you got this one we all talk so much about. By Sherlock. My wife got this picture. Sherlock. But I'm always, and if she's with me in the car, I'm telling her, grab the camera, take pictures of that, look at that mess in the sky. This is disgusting. And I just want stuff like that out to the world. Look at what they're doing. They are polluting us. But I am now convinced, as I said in 2009, and as my wife also said, they are hiding something. And what are they hiding? Well, this picture kind of speaks for itself, don't it? This is what they're hiding with the chemtrails. And as I said in the uh, first episode of Nibiru Sackcloth ha have arrived, I said they are able, by manipulating, exciting the gaseous uh, atmosphere with these particles, barium salt, strontium, aluminum, and actually I've also re quite recently found out they also spray copper in the atmosphere. And that gives a reddish tint, so that might be why we have these flaming sunsets sometimes. <coughs> so, chemtrails, I don't believe that is for geoengineering. I'm afraid not. I don't. There's a lot of talk about it. I just think it's a spin. It's, I think it's another distraction. This is why they are doing it. This is why they are chemtrailing so heavy. 
they want to hide this because when you look up at your sky and you can see this with your naked eye even if there are chemtrails in the sky which will be quite soon you can do that people start going to ask questions here and a lot of questions and they want answers and the elite is not going to give us the answers so you can calculate the rest people go mad because they also see the changes here on earth and its changes which we are being blamed for by them and we have nothing to do with it the culprit is this this is our thing and this might be that Christ cross that one I'll see if I can find the picture and if I do it'll be in this video so wait for it to the end this picture will be in the end and you can also go and look at them yourself and you could go cross check these pictures and determine that these pictures do not represent that this is a lens flare you cannot have lens flares like that in awkward positions they are not even in a straight line when the lens flare is actually going in that direction not even crossing that one not crossing that one not crossing that one either and it is an iPhone so there's limits to how many lenses there is in there and this picture is only taken at one angle so we can't just suddenly get more angles to it right these are not even in a straight line so it's obvious you can see it now and it's coming and it's be here next year 2011 it's not gonna be 2012 you don't got a year more you got a year less so prepare and be right with your God God bless you